Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today the second section in the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Today's section is entitled Who is Satan? Here's the introduction. I do not know that all people understand about Satan. They think he is a great, powerful dude that can make them great and powerful. When in fact, Satan is more like a leopard or a lion or a tiger. Very, very cunning, very predacious, very eager to feed on us. Satan lacks a soul. It lacks a higher mind. Yet this astral animal seems to have those because of its great gifts of mind control. It seems to be like a great warlord on earth because of its rapacious desire to wreak violence on others. I have a picture here for you called Evil Eyes. It's a drawing by me, by Alice B. Claggett. It's really a picture of something like cat's eyes in the darkness, only a very mean cat's eyes, like a predator, a predator animal, a lion, a tiger, a panther, something like that, hiding in the dark and waiting to pounce on a person. And so, this is more or less my idea of Satan, something that endangers our human existence, our forms, our energy fields. I don't see Satan as a big macho guy that can help us out in human warfare. I see him as a danger to the human race. Here's a section called, here's a sub section called Satan's Mission. Some say Satan is not supreme evil. Instead, they feel it is an intelligent being, an organized force that is necessary to the creation and enactment of Leela, the play of creation. Satan's adversarial actions on humankind Adversarial means fighting against or warring against or being the adversary of. So Satan's adversarial actions on humankind force us to develop spiritual discrimination. And this discrimination leads to soul realization. That's otherwise known as self-realization or enlightenment or awakening, or infinite awareness. It seems to me this, that this is an excellent explanation of the mission of Satan from a higher perspective, from the perspective of the minions of Satan. That's the beings uh, who are led by Satan. The the evil beings that are led by Satan, the minions of Satan, from the perspective of the minions of Satan, on the other hand, and frequently from the human perspective, this higher mission of Satan is not in focus. Rather, the emphasis is on enjoyment of producing darkness. This subsection is entitled, Satan's Hold on the World, as I clearly view it. Clare means ESP, extrasensory perception, clear uh, viewing. So, Satan's Hold on the World, as I clearly view it. I think that there is a force, as I've mentioned before, roaming the world. I call it the unconscious thought cloud of the world. 
I have talked and written about it a lot of times. Now what I have not known until recent years is that it is highly intelligent and motivated towards the downfall of humankind, of humanity. I used to think of it as a conglomerate of thoughts that we all have. But in recent years, it appears to be very intelligent and on a mission to preserve duality, to preserve the third dimensional experience. Some of us are becoming aware of this energy, this energy of Satan, very aware indeed. Well, dear ones, that's the end of section two of Satan's powers and what to do about them. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.